starting off with short introduction i am kismat kumar with cyd 1074635 part of program bsc honors in ethical hacking and cyber security from software ethica college so in our first year stage 2 within module stw 122 com introduction to algorithms we were assigned with individual based project and in this project we had to demonstrate like overall uses of database libraries and graphical user interface talking about some of the objective we had to achieve in this project uh, we had to focus on tkinter as our library for gui and we had to create database using sql in addition no, we had to use different uh, database queries like select insert delete to make our application quite more user friendly also sourcing and sorting of specific data should also be added and finally testing of software entire software using unit testing must be done so focusing on different objectives to complete this project in quite more effective way i had decided to make a simple hotel booking system which i'll be presenting now so this is just a simple login interface uh, which which has predefined username and password Uh, for now id and pa- username and password is admin and admin and if you type in wrong username and password message box like this gets pop up now resetting the wrong username and password and using the correct predefined username and password that is admin and admin you get a successful login to our main dashboard of online hotel booking system Uh, firstly talking about uses of different database queries used in this online hotel booking system if you want to add information about someone who tries to book hotel using this entries above and then clicking on add button will add this data to database and those data from database will be fetched into this table uh, let me just uh, clarify by giving a uh, example as well you can see information is added successfully in our gui table and the information is all for sure added in this table in our database table as well you can see the information is added successfully now also if you add information with any of this in entries with empty field then this will show messages like this besides this uh, if you try to assign room number to customer uh, that has already been assigned uh, then the message box like this gets pop up and you should choose different room number and the same procedure gets repeated now if you want to update information of any users you can just click on this gui table and this information will be fetched into this entries and you can you can update the information as per your requirement for now let me just update address you can see address for sukrit has been successfully updated in this table and this information is updated in this database as well now after some days if you want any of this data to be deleted from both database and this gui table you can just use delete button and you can see the information that we deleted has been successfully deleted in this database as well now secondly talking about sorting and sorting technique um data is sorted either by name or room number in this table let me just sort data by using name you can see the data is successfully sorted by using name and again let me just sort it by using room number you can again see data is successfully sorted by using room number now if data is quite more larger and you want to sort a specific that data then you can sort it either by room number you can see data is successfully sorted and so all button fetched all the data from database again back to this table 
now again if you want to source uh, source by either phone number you can see the information is successfully sourced also again by phone number again clicking on show all button uh, finally this is finally uh, this overall software is also tested using unit testing and um, I had also performed unit testing on nine different functions. And the test is successfully passed. So this is all about the project that I've created. And if you want to exit, you can just click on exit button. And lastly about this project uh, this project had helped me to uh, boost up my practical skills and learn about GUI along with database which will surely help me to push myself to involve in different other projects in coming days and lastly I would like to thank my module lecturer Sam Khatiwada sir uh, for his proper guidance and help who, who assisted me to complete this entire project thank you